Hello everyone, I am Shreyas and I am from Logic. Today we are going to see the features and specifications of this FX series. FX series is available in different sizes that is 65, 75 as well as 86 inches. And it comes up with the 8 GB of RAM and 128 GB of storage. It works on the Android 13 platform and it has got an optional OPS slot as well. Then it has been covered with a toughened glass which comes up with a 7 image of a hard disk. If someone by accidentally hits it, nothing gonna happen for this. Then it has got an anti-glare and anti-reflective property as well. So there will be no scratches and as well as it observes the 60 to 70 percent of the light as well. So the students can see the screen properly. Along with this, it also has got some educational tools where we can use them effectively to teach comprehensively as well as more effectively in the classroom. So first we'll see the user interface. So this is how the user interface look like. And on the top right corner, we have got a shortcut keys. So let's see them one by one. Here, this is the first one. This is a source menu. So whenever we connect our laptop externally through a wide way, we can switch between the, you know, the IFPD and the laptop just by a single click. Then next to that, we have got a brightness control. So here we can increase or decrease the brightness. Then next to that, we have got an audio control. We can increase or decrease the audio from here then the hotspot sometimes students might require or a teacher might require the internet connections whenever they are facing issue with their internet so they can connect to this then the lan and the wi-fi application we can connect the ifpd to the internet through lan as well as wi-fi now we have been connected through lan so this ethernet is enabled and if you want to connect through the wi-fi just enable this wi-fi icon then we have got an assistive toolbar i will just slide this arrow up when i slide this arrow up we're going to see the applications and other tools this assistive toolbar is present on the either sides as well right side as well as the left side so that teachers can make access to the tools or the applications instantly from wherever they are standing so now we're going to talk about the note application the note application is nothing but a smart blackboard how it works how to use those tools you know more effectively we're gonna see them one by one using the subjective examples okay i have you know opened up assistive toolbar and i will click on note pro so this note pro basically enables the teachers and it empowers the teachers to teach more effectively okay now whatever we are seeing this is the note pro application so here this is a menu icon where we are able to see the different commands like save open save as and how to use them we'll see them later then these are the other tools which can be used during the classroom teaching or during the explanations as well so first whenever we start to you know teach something we'd like to set the background so how to set a background so let's see that so click on the menu right so we can click on the menu and here we are able to see the theme option so theme option template background so we can check the set the background now it's white i can set it to the green i can set it to let's say purple blue or now as of now we'll keep this white if you want a customized background we can keep a customized background as well by clicking on this additional you can add you know different uh, images or you know if there is some event you can add the images of those events as well then particularly if you want a background now i want a square bar or a grid background when you are teaching to the lower grades you you will be you know teaching them to how to write the numbers in the grids right so we can use this if p teachers would like to conduct the classes if the ground is wet or something they can make use of this templates of the different grounds so they can tell the position how the football you know field looks like what are the dimensions what are the positions of the different players we can use them then we have got the graphs as well as the world map we'll be looking them in a different stage how to use them okay now let's set this back to normal okay so here we are we have set the we have seen how to set the background as well as the template 
now first we shall start with the basic tool that is stylus this stylus is a passive stylus so there is no need of charging it it comes up with a two edges one is a thinner edge and one is a thicker edge we'll be able to write with the two different colors at the same time so how can we do that let's see i will click on the right option when we click on the right option here we are able to see two icons one is a thinner edge and one is a thicker edge now for a thinner edge with a thinner edge i want to write with a different color let's say i want to write with a black color i have chosen a black color for that then to underline whatever we have written so i will be underlining with a red color so i have chosen red color for this now let's say let's take a concept so let's understand we are learning magnets i have written a magnet i will underline this with the red color right so at the same time without switching the colors we are able to write with the different colors now i feel like you know the thickness the underline which i have done it's you know the line is very you know thinner so i want to make it a thicker what i will do is that i will undo whatever i have done previously now for the thicker edge i will increase the thickness so we can change the thickness of the pen as well so the line is more thicker than before this is how we can do then we have got other options as well like the flat brush so when we are using the flat brush the way like now it's like you know i'm writing with a pencil when i'm using the brush it gives a feel of you know how we stroke with a brush i will just increase the thickness just to make show the difference so we can see here when we write it gives a different you know the look it's because it's a brush stroke now similarly with the pointed as well then what is this smart type so we'll be looking it in a later stage then this is a magic pen now we're gonna highlight this world magnet i'm gonna select this right i have choose the selection option i've selected it now whatever i have written i want to convert this into a text what i will do is that i will write this smart right now it has got converted into the text format now what i can do is here i we can change the color of this world now let's change it to blue you can change it to other colors as well i want to bold this so i can click on this i can make it bold i want to underline this even this is possible italic it's possible again i can set the angle which they are tilting yeah okay now let's keep it simple and do all these things yeah okay then we can use this scratch wording as well so this is regarding the smart trait and the style now when we are teaching students will be very curious our teacher might want to show something really interesting things about the magnet what we can do is that at a time use the smart search option we have smart search this so when we smart this then we will be you know going to the browser it will take us to the browser now i will align this to the right side here we are able to see that resources related to the magnet now in the classroom it will be difficult for the teachers or the lecturer to show the different kinds of a magnet there will be horseshoe magnet bar magnet and all these stuff ring magnet sometimes the magnets might not be available or it's difficult for us you know to see everything in a classroom because they will be tiny as well here we can show them the images we can show right so it's a horseshoe magnet i will just open this for the explanation i need this horseshoe magnet what we will do is that we'll just download this i will tap on this we downloaded this drag this to the screen okay sorry we have dragged this to the screen now it comes up with a multi window mode as well i will align this to the left we can use multi windows at the same time i will show this okay this is on the right side this is on the left side now we have aligned two windows i will align this to the left corner similarly i can open up other three windows
okay so we have opened that so i can open this i can align this to the left corner and similarly one more window is open for us we can open four windows at the same time now we have learned how to drag the you know images from the browser and the teachers will be able to move this and annotate over this so this is a north pole the teacher can mention and this is a south pole we can annotate over the images and we can drag the images we can resize so i will just click on selection i have selected this see we can we get option to crop so let me crop this a little bit yes it's done or we can give a shape to this as well like a round shape okay it's perfect yes i have cropped it this one now let's again select it once again if i want to flip i can flip this it has changed like in a horizontal as vertical if you want to sh you know flip we can flip this and if i want a replica of this image i will click on clone the image got you know duplicated now we don't want we'll delete this so what is the top option we'll see that tool in the later stage so this is related to the magnet we fetch the images from the internet now sometimes teachers lectures might come up with a pre-prepared material so i have got our teachers has got their own material we want to import them from the local storage or from their pen drive how can we access them we'll see so i will add one more page here we have added one more page now i will use the import option so where this import option is available so click on the menu when we click on this menu here is a import option now here we are able to import different kinds of files that's image pdf view pdf and everything so we will be seeing them one by one now let's import the image of a magnet so it's an image so i will click on an image will be taken through the local storage so i have my content stored here now the magnet is yes it's here i have imported the image of a magnet along with its magnetic field so this is how we are able to import a image okay i will just resize it okay this is something similar to this now teacher can the same way. again and not over this all this now we want to make a reference to the textbook as well so the students might be bringing the textbook or they might not bring so what a teacher can do they will be bringing also textbook but whenever the teachers are teaching teachers want the students to concentrate on whatever they are teaching so teachers can just open the textbook from here so this all the students will be looking into the textbook like you know without opening their textbook so let's import a textbook we'll add a one more page now again i will go to the same menu again use the same feature import i will import the pdf so i will click on this now the whole you know the textbook getting converted into image format and it is getting added to our note application so we have added all these pages we can resize the you know these images as well or this textbook let's say yeah okay so when we resize this it doesn't you know loses its clarity or its quality doesn't get deteriorated so we can see here it's refreshing and we can see them clearly and it's a magnetic effects of an electric current so teachers again can note over this or underline the topic and we can make reference to the textbook from here itself now what i want to do is that like i want to draw a magnet here i'll be drawing a magnet right and magnetic fields around it now beside this i want to write the properties of a magnet like the properties of a magnetic field lines now here the space is too small now in a conventional way what we would what we would have done is that we would have erased and we would have written but here it comes up with the infinity 
canvas how we're going to use this infinity canvas now i'm going to use this move option i have enabled the move option i will just move this horizontally right so i wanted to explain about the properties so i will write the first property here right the they are looped magnetic field lines are looped then they start from north and end at south like you know north to south this is how i can write now i want to write you know now I have, we have done with the bar magnet similarly i want to show for a horseshoe magnet so further i will click on this move vertically i will you know move this up then i will draw a horseshoe magnet here then we can explain about the uh, what i can say the magnetic field lines using this infinity canvas here we are able to see or we, we are able to write everything in a single page now we'll see whatever we have written all the things like right? you know we'll preview it so we have written all these things i want to make a reference to the textbook i will just click on this the textbook will appear i want to refer to the properties i will move this so it's showing the properties then i want to move this to the horseshoe magnet it will show me the horseshoe magnets okay now if we want to see everything in a single screen i will just minimize this we can minimize up to 30 percent and we can maximize up to 300 percent as well and we can use this as an infinity canvas this application not only helps here it helps in the mathematics class when we derive the theorems because they will be lengthy and in some physics problems we make we need to make a reference to the initial data to complete the further steps while writing the c programs as well so it will be a, a very handy tool so that's a move option okay now we have done with the magnets now after teaching this the teachers would like to show something you know regarding the magnets how magnet works how they are made and everything right so but before that the you know students might be curious how these magnets are made is it possible to create a magnet with any of the elements they might be asking a questions or they might be asking a doubts to the students so we'll see how these magnets are made using this periodic table the magnets are basically made up of different elements like cobalt nickel right iron so we have selected these elements we can make a refer to the periodic table using the more tools in the more application or a more tool we have got this periodic table so i will just insert this okay we have inserted this cobalt nickel iron we if you want to understand the properties of this cobalt i will just click on this okay sorry i'll make a selection now here we are able to see the cobalt's atomic number its atomic structure and atomic mass and its distribution of electrons right so similarly you can do this for all the elements now we have learned about how to make use of the periodic table similarly it can be used in the chemistry class as well you don't need to have a separate charts for each element like or else we can have a data from a single periodic chart now if a teacher want to show some videos related to the magnetism we'll make use of this more option itself that's a we'll go to more and we'll click on this search okay we can search for the pictures as well as we can search for the videos so it will be directly taking us to the youtube so let's say magnetism okay we have searched for the magnetism the videos related to the magnetism will pop up we can play some videos related to the magnetism we'll insert this once we insert it's important let's play this from this window So we can see here the video is getting played we'll be able to control we'll be able to control the sound of this you know video as well now during this video 
we feel like you know something is very important some concepts are important some images are very important we can take a screenshot of this how can we take a screenshot of this now for this purpose we don't need to stop the video we'll just make use of this assistive toolbar then here it's a crop option right so here it's a crop option when I say click on this crop option okay okay before this okay let's say crop okay now this is the core of the earth right so I want to take this screenshot I will just you know resize this a little bit it's a freedom window I can resize if you want to take a full size you can use the full so whole screenshot will come the whole screen if you want a particular window since we are in a single window we'll be able to take a single window then we'll just use a freedom window we'll just take this screenshot okay and I'll save this it's getting saved to the local file manager okay now since it has been saved we can further continue with the video okay we'll pause it okay I'm sorry we'll pause it then there is a, another way of taking a screenshot again go to this menu use the mark tool here using this mark tool we can take a screenshot again let's say a small window will pop up yes it's here now I can write over this running video okay now I can take a screenshot of this I can write over this video I can mark this then I can highlight this with a brush so let's say I want to highlight this part I can highlight this then I want to clean everything we can clean this everything we can save this so now it's saved to the local file manager in the more tools we can you know again save and the finder like when we use the save option or the finder option it's the same thing it is getting saved to the local storage if I want this to insert into the tech you know like our smart blackboard I will insert this so it will get inserted into our smart blackboard you can see the screenshot got imported then if you want to share this instantly with the students just click on the share click on the share and a QR code will be generated this QR code can be scanned by the students and they can fetch this so here we are able to see the QR code then using the cloud we can directly save it to the our linked drive okay so this is regarding the mark 2 now we'll stop this particular window okay we'll delete this particular video as well okay this is how this more tool helps us for browsing videos for making reference to the periodic table as well I'm gonna add one more page now whenever we would like to you know whenever we are writing something let's see magnetic field right so we are ha we have written something now I feel like I have not written in a proper way I want to erase it now we can simply erase with our palm it automatic like you know it has got a palm gesture we will be able to erase everything very smoothly now if we feel like you know no we want that back I can use this undo option everything will be back and further if you want to erase particularly only a particular word or when you are drawing something when you want to you know erase particularly I, I will use this erase option and I can erase I'm sorry okay we are able to erase this now there was a pen that is a like you know we wanted to talk about other two options that is a smart write option 
Now when I enable this feature, I'm writing a magnet. It automatically get converts into text. So the smart text allows us to convert whatever we have written into the text format. And then next comes the magic pen. This magic pen helps us to draw the different things, right? We might be bad at drawing something. So at that time we can use. So let's say we are drawing a tree. Now it, you know, it gives the images related to whatever we have drawn. So I have drawn a tree and it gave me images related to that. This will be pretty handy in, uh, you know, the lower grades if you want to get the attention of the students. And this is uh, going to be very easy to draw for the teachers as well. Now we're going to understand how to use this ruler applications. But before that, let me add a page over here. Now there are different tools, compass, protector, set square as well as the ruler. How to use this in a classroom more effectively? Let's understand this through an question right so the question might be draw an angle of a 60 degree without using a protractor how are we gonna do that so first choose a ruler now I want to draw with a particular color for that go to the right option choose the black color we have choose the black color now we're gonna draw a line of a random length we have drawn this this scale is expandable and it is rotatable when I click on this expandable it get activated when I stretch or compress the size get changes okay now I'm gonna move this aside and we're gonna select the compass okay now put your stylus on this and drag this we are able to move this easily and smoothly so I'm gonna place the nib of this here and the double headed arrow line it's for adjusting the radius let's adjust this radius to 5 centimeter let's say then here we are able to see a icon append with the arc click on this it's get activated blue in color I want to draw arc I have drawn in a black color one now I want to change the color of an arc go back to the right choose the red okay how to rotate this uh, basically the compass again you can move this if you want to rotate you can rotate this way like using this icon rotate when I click on this it turns into blue and we'll be able to rotate this now we shall keep this on this okay okay let's place this accurately to get the accurate answer we have played this let's draw an arc now we have drawn an arc move this aside now choose the ruler once again we'll rotate let's join this at the arc and we have drawn the line now we have drawn this line now let's check the angle between this use protractor I'm gonna place the center of the protractor at this intersection point now you can see in the scale it's exactly at the 60 degree now I'm gonna tell this this gonna show me as 60 degree right so here we are able to see that it's a 60 degree angle this is how we can effectively use these tools in the classroom I'm gonna delete this okay and you can mark this to 60 degree so now we have seen the ruler options now let's understand about the shapes I'm gonna add one more page shapes so when it comes to the shapes so there are different shapes like 2d as well as 3d now in the 2d 
there are different tools like different shapes one is this is a smart shaping then the rest of them are circle ellipse triangle then the parallelogram right angle triangle trapezium square or a rectangle rhombus pentagon straight line double headed arrow line single headed arrow line dotted line dotted straight you can say curved and dotted curved and the flag and we can use this all you know as per our convenience first if you want to draw a circle so i'm going to choose this and i'm going to choose the color as black just drag this and we are able to draw the circle now if you want to change the color of this circle what we can do is that you know we're not going to delete this just select this okay now click on the frame frame here we are able to change the color of this purple green okay and even we can change the thickness of this if you want particularly the dotted one as the frame we can keep this dotted as well we like to fill this with some color let's say we'll fill with this red color we have filled this now we can duplicate this using the clone option there is a, another image of it now let's change the color of this like you know fill this with a different color the black one and we'll change the frame color to the red one so the reverse way or else we'll change it to the blue one now if i want to bring the red circle at the front what i'm going to do i'm going to choose this color and top so the red image it come at the top similarly we can use this top option for the images as well if you want to bring some images at the top we can use this feature we're gonna add one more page then look at the other shapes then similarly we can draw ellipse let's choose this then triangle we can use this now every time i don't want to switch like you know between the different shapes for that i will use the smart and click on the shapes right here we are able to see the 2d and the 3d shapes so the first one is a smart shaping then the circle ellipse triangle parallelogram right angle triangle rhombus square or a rectangle then the you know pentagon i'm sorry here the rhombus we missed out then the straight line double headed arrow line single headed arrow line then the dotted straight line curved and dotted curved and the flag so how are we going to use them in the classroom we're going to see first let's say this is a circle so this is a circle now if you want to change the color of this just select this circle okay the frame click on the frame we'll change it to the red and if we feel like you know the thickness is very small then we can increase the thickness and we can convert this into the dotted as well and let's shall fill with this you know the blue color i'm sorry it's a frame okay choose the fill and we'll fill with this the red color now if you want a replica of it just click on the clone we're gonna get another one now let's change the color of it inside change it to black now if you feel like you know the red circle has to be at the front click on this bring it to top so the red color circle is on the top and similarly this top feature can be used for the images as well if there are multiple images if you want to bring you know and if there those images are overlapping each other and if you want to bring you can use this top feature and similarly you can use the other features like you know sorry other shapes for drawing like the ellipse triangle now we don't want to like you know switch between the different shapes I want to draw automatically we can use this smart shaping tool this smart shaping tool allows us to draw everything easily like i haven't drawn a proper circle but it understood that we have drawn a circle and it automatically gave me a image of a circle then we'll draw a rectangle now it gave me a rectangle similarly a square it gave me a square right and we can draw pentagon okay because we haven't drawn this properly we need to properly close the edges as well okay this is five sided that's pentagon we can say okay now next coming to this 
the other tool that's called as the what the form how we're gonna use this form this form will be very useful for us while you know while differentiating between two things or when you're you know using the uh, you can say the tables for making the schedules or exam schedules so for different things we use the tables now it's a three into two cross matrix now if I want to increase the number of rows or the columns how can we do that now for this reason we need to select them right we need to select them but let's understand this through the a subject so we know the Mandel's principle of inheritance we shall import a, a image related to that okay image okay now this is uh, you know the second generation table like what's gonna be the chances like the breeding chances so there are two seats like you know round and yellow and one is wrinkled and green so when they get crossed what kind of the breeding we gonna get right the first generation we have and for the second generation we got a table so when we want to generate a such a table now these tables are self adjustive like you know the cells of the cells are self adjustive let's say this is i am writing ry here then ry this is ry now it's gonna be rr yy the size of the cell automatically got adjusted it adjusts according to the size of the world now i want to add a one more row here what i'm gonna do is that select this i'm gonna add this so a row has been added now i can write this again here then we shall continue similarly the same way you can add the rows and you can add the columns now if you want to add in between the same thing select this add this we can add in between as well okay so this is regarding the form option now we shall understand about the mind map mind map is generally used for summarizing the concept or breaking down the concepts like a tree structure or a chain structure so in india we have got a constitution under the constitution there are two bodies that's Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha like basically okay constitution okay then Lok Sabha Rajya Sabha okay we have chosen this the third one is not necessary for us so we shall select this and delete this now further we want to continue that chain or the tree how the members are elected to the you know the body so I can add this for Rajya Sabha as well because people will be nominated elected so we can continue this and we can break down the concept very easily not only here in the history the rulers right the hierarchy of the rulers like in the english as well like the tenses part of tenses right uh, you know all these things we can you know study about this or break down types of you know tenses types of seasons types of weathers right types of clouds there are different scenarios and there are you know different types of frictions everything wherever it's there like you know in all the subject it can be used more effectively just to summarize a concept along with the examples right okay now this is there I can just move this right I can move this here and I can minimize this and we can maximize this as well so this is regarding the what the mind map application now since we saw this as well we shall understand the you know shapes you know in more detail how we can use this in a more effective manner during the physics lectures right especially the light chapters we study light as a ray right there will be a lot of ray diagrams now using this we can draw the ray diagrams let's say first we shall draw a concave mirror 
okay let's draw a principal axis i'm sorry shall choose the shapes line a principal axis with a dotted line let's say it's a principal axis with a dotted line and mark the pole focus and center of curvature now whenever a light ray travels parallelly to the principal axis what happens to that I need to choose the shapes what happens to that it come back through the focus so this is one kind of array now the another kind of array when it is passes through the focus it comes parallelly right then when it passes through the center of curvature we can change the color let's change it to red okay it retraces its own path okay we can mark this way so easily the reflected ray incident rays all can be marked this is not going to be handy here it will be handy in all the subjects wherever we are using the lines okay so this is going to be a more appropriate drawing we can draw the you know position of the image position of the object accurately on the blackboard it will not be possible for us because we will not be drawing according to the dimensions so here with this you know the tool we can draw them more effectively and efficiently and we can locate the images easily as well then the 3d shapes there are different 3d shapes like sphere hemisphere okay then the cube sorry the cylinder tapered cylinder cone tetrahedron prism then the cube right now cylinder we have drawn the cylinder it allows the teachers to explain about the area and the volume concepts more effectively now this is an area right okay let's undo this this is area the area of a circle is nothing but pi r square here the additional is nothing but the height it's a height now since it's a height we are considering here the volume volume is nothing but area into height right so area is already the pi r square and the height and we can break out the concept into simple things using this shapes right so we have seen explaining about what the light ray diagrams and you know this cylinder shapes and everything now we want to make a refer to any of the ppt files or something we can make a refer to right we can use the application that's an import like import application then view ppt when i click on this view ppt the notes uh, the documents will get popped up so here is there okay so it has got opened up right so i can make a refer to this ppt and i can explain the things in a more convenient manner okay i can move this okay i can align this at the center i can move this now it's in a presentation mode right we can swipe this right swipe left swipe we can change the slides it's going to be simple and we will be able to write over this as well right we'll be able to write you know we can point over it if you are using a presenter we can point over it or writing we can write we can go to the next slide we can use all of these features effectively along with this it is pinned even i can use this you know i will size this and i can write and i can mark it here so still we are able to use the note application without closing that tab so since we have pinned that tab okay here we have pinned this tab if i unpin this when i am using this right when i am using this that gonna be get disappeared because we have unpinned it so if you want that also be there and this also to be there we need to pin that okay so this is regarding the view ppt option and similarly we can you know use the view pdf and view ppt option 
for just viewing the things not getting you know them imported into the whiteboard application and similarly you can use the image and a pdf we have seen that earlier like to import them into the we can say the application next now teachers want to highlight something in the classroom basically you know you say uh, some important concepts related to the exams okay or else students might have the doubts and the students want to ask their doubt and teacher want to take that at the end or else let's say there are some notices for the students for registering their name for the sports event or for the examinations as well for that reason teachers can highlight this using the note let's say sports event tomorrow they can register their name okay so this will be there at the top students can make a note of this so this is how we're going to use the note application let's cancel this then there is another option called as a partition when i click on this partition the screen will get you know split into three sections here you can call up the students and ask them to participate like in any of the activities so whatever we have learned so students can come and write about it so we can make the students to write with the different colors okay we change it to blue so the person who is writing here so let's say he is writing lens it will be the red color here mirror green color right and here microscope so people will be able to write with the different colors at the same moment okay so this is regarding the partitions then we can make use of what the more tool here more tool is basically for conducting the activities after the class right what happens in the classroom after the session teachers would like to understand how much the students have understand the concept for that reason you know the activities become very crucial and it will be very interactive children would like to participate in those events as well so let's say click on ranking right so when we click on a ranking you know there will be two teams you know the teachers can conduct a quiz teacher can you know orally show the you know orally dictate the questions or else they can show it at the screen if a team answers correctly add them a point and other team answers add them a point if there are multiple teams add another teams and for the winner we can give the awards as well right so the team one and the team two they have won because they have got a more you know like points we can say so this is related to the activities then there are other type of activities like fun classify let's say these are the you know like the basic structures how you can create the game now these are already pre-prepared if you would like to prepare the content we can prepare that so that will be seen we you know in a later stage with respect to the bytelo with there we need there will be understanding about the bytelo what the bytelo how we can create the content in a bytelo how we can create the activities in the bytelo here it's a city name and the country name we need to differentiate right so new york is a country or a city it's a city right if i try to put this in a country it doesn't take so i will put this here norway it's a country london city canada it's a country okay students would like to play the games so if you ask them and you know come here and play this game they would be more happy to play these games right because students love playing games okay and there are other types of a games and if you want to you know create more it can be done through the bytelo we need to log in here and we can fetch the games from the bytelo class as well okay so this is regarding the activities now there is a one more one more way of conducting the polls so that will be saying you know seeing them in a later stage how to conduct the poll questions as well adding to this then there are other things like the planet here we are able to show a 3d version i'm sorry selection okay 3d version here we can show to the students the movements right the solar system how the planets revolve around the sun how the motions will be when what are the their positions around the sun and we can rotate this 
and we can rotate the planets as well including the sun then other to this we'll undo this add the formulas so this is not a formula list like here we get the options like the trigonometric functions like sine cos time just to create a question here we have got a numbers as well as some trigonometric things as well as the root and the exponential things here the alphabets we got then other symbols equal to greater than not equal to other symbols we have got then theta gamma alpha omega and then sigma all these symbols are present we this is just to create the questions that the students can read the notations symbols you know effectively because some people write the symbols in a different way right we write it pi you know in a different way and some people might write sigma in a different way some people might write rho in a different way but actually how it looks like they need to understand right so for that reason this would be very handy for the teachers to create the questions using the symbols and the numbers then i want to redo we can redo this the redo options is also available then if you want to share this to the students because the class is now done there are different ways of sharing this to the students one is through qr code and one is through email if the classrooms allows the mobiles we can use this share option once we click on the share the students will be able to scan this and they will be able to download it's taking a little bit of a time to export because we have added 33 pages right along with the content and everything so it takes a time the data to get processed so once a qr code generated the students can scan that and they can download or else teachers can take a screenshot of that and send it to the whatsapp group people can you know download later stage as well or else using the okay here we can see a qr code has been generated okay generated then if you want to send through the basically the email what we can do is that click on the email it get exported then we need to add our account the school account or the teachers individual account and then share with the parents because the lower grade students might not have the email id or the mobile so they can share to the share parents and the parents will also get to know what's happening in the class and what the teachers are all teaching <coughs> and it becomes a repository for the teachers as well once everything is done they can store this with them forever and if a student comes and asks, can you repeat this i haven't got this you know then we can you know show you know give this to them like they will be able to understand the concept in a better way when they go home and when they revise the subjects again right and whatever we have done till now it gonna be get saved as a iwp format if i'm using this save option let's say i'm clicking on this menu and if i'm clicking on the save option it's gonna get saved as what a iwp format okay i will click on okay let's say it as yes one like the session one we have saved it so it's getting saved as a iw format but this is not accessible through all the you know tabs or the laptops because it's a iwb format that is interactive whiteboard format for this what we can do is that click on menu export this to the image format so whatever we have written it will be converted into image or a pdf so we'll convert this into a pdf format and you can share this with the students as well okay let's save this okay we are saving this as a pdf thing and we can also directly save this to the cloud as well so the cloud option we just need to log in how to make a login for that let's say this okay okay let's not open for this click on the cloud storage okay google drive one drive so where you want to store so just click on this put your credentials and you will be able to save this now during the lectures we might be storing our files you know generally in the cloud right like drives but if you want to have access to that how can we do that yes we can have access to that using the google drive 
right so I'm gonna click on this now first in order to access this we need to connect our thing to the Bytelo right Bytelo will be just, you know as we discussed we'll be seeing them in a later stage what I'm gonna do is that click on Bytelo I'll click on login I'm gonna scan this QR code so once I scan this QR code okay we'll be able to scan this QR code now we have logged in once we logged in it will show as a logged in it's taking okay we have logged in now here I have access to my Google Drive I have connected my Google Drive to this now I have got some material here right let's say PDF files right mathematics trigonometry social science so whichever is there you can take them and you can insert that again here so even this is possible we can connect one drive google drive and the byteller drive in the byteller also you'll be getting a cloud storage to store the content as well we have successfully inserted a pdf file from the cloud so this google drive will be pretty handy if we have stored our data in the google drive or the one drive okay so now let's add one more thing so at the end of the session students might ask some doubt all right or they might be asking some questions you know you might think they are very important doubts all the students should you know uh, should know about those doubts let's for an example let's say why uh, let's say why magnets always you know positions itself to the north south right so if this is a magnet this will be always north and this will be always south right whenever we hang a magnet it always get positioned to north south why is that so right? students might come on the board and they might uh, you know answer this whom whoever might be knowing or the teacher might be answering this and we need to record this stuff because this is very important for this reason we can record the whole class so let's drag this assist toolbar up click on the more and here there is a record so during this record we can change the settings so what quality of a resolution you want HD resolution or lower than that we can select okay confirm and click on recording the recording of the class has been started so this becomes very helpful in the practical classes because in the uh, labs sometimes the instrument instruments might get you know not they might not work properly or they might uh, you know the temperature or you can say for conducting the biological experiments they require temperatures as well right so sometimes we might not be able to maintain those temperatures and we can record whenever it's possible and we can show it to the students they can repeat the experiments you know just by using these recorded things because they will not be getting a time to repeat the experiments in the classrooms as well because of shortage of a time let's stop this okay we are able to stop and it has been downloaded and we want to highlight right we want to highlight something this is very important let's say okay let's select this now this is a human eye and this is a very important you know for the examination point of view and what are the parts of the eye to highlight this we can use the more option spotlight so i'm going to turn this spotlight into this we can increase or decrease the size clarity the transparency now i will adjust to this 
okay now the students will be having their whole concentration here apart from rest of the screen and we can easily show them that this is a retina this is optic now right ciliary muscles this is going to be a attention catcher for the students okay now this is a main we can save this okay we are able to save this file we have saved this to the previously saved file now here we spoke of the polling thing right how the students can pull from their mobile or how they can vote from their tabs so we gonna see that through a application that's a air class application how it works and how teachers can conduct it we'll be seeing that right now